The Rothman Institute presents Take 5 on Hawks All Access. Hawk fans, this weekend marks the start of November, which means the regular seasons are winding down for SJU's fall sports teams. Playing their final two regular season home games this weekend is the Hawks Field Hockey Squad. And with us today is first year head coach Lynn Farquhar. Lynn, thanks for being here today. My pleasure. Um, so first question for you, what's your overall take on your first year as a head coach at the collegiate level? I love it and it's a great place to be. I'm really thankful I could start here at St. Joe's with the group I'm starting with. Mm -hmm. um, it's, been, it's been a blast. It's something I love to do and I'm very passionate about. So it's been great. What's the easiest part been of the adjustment? I think the easiest part is I'm in a really good environment. Mm -hmm. So it's not just St. Joe's, but it's the team I get to work with, it's the staff I get to work with. So they want to work hard, they love what they do, and so we share, a, we share an energy and it makes everybody's smile. And I'm sure that definitely makes it easier when everyone's working toward the same goal, obviously. It does. Uh, and how about the hardest part? I think it's been a huge opportunity with all of the change. The most difficult is probably just, it's a first for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So it's, we came in right before preseason um, with a new coaching staff in a new environment in a conference that I haven't been in for about nine years. So it's a lot of news. Um, when you submitted your resume to St. Joseph's, what was it that appealed to you about the university? What made you decide SJU is where I need to be? Well, the biggest thing is I wanted to be in an environment where I could help build mm -hmm. and was gonna be supported. And the more I learned about St. Joe's from visiting and from meeting the people, it was just a better and better fit. And I think how I operate and what I believe in is the same that the school believes in. So you have the Magis, you have about investing in something bigger than yourself in the athletic department. Definitely, uh, I love working for St. Joe's and everybody here is tremendously passionate and supportive. It doesn't matter what your title is or what your role is, everybody's willing to help. Um, you can see uh, students at all different games. You can see administrators at all different games and I think that's a really cool environment to be in. Great support for the program. Definitely. Um, you and your staff have quite the list of accomplishments to your names from your playing days including a national championship from when you were at Old Dominion. Um, how do you think that those experiences and accolades kinds of translates into the coaching sphere? Like do you think that players are more inclined to seek out coaches who have so to speak been there as players themselves? It's a good question. Uh, I think accolades are always exciting, mm -hmm. but what you really remember is the memory and the work that gets put into those. So I'm very thankful for my experiences and then all of my staff has been a part of championships. I've even represented their countries, which is really neat. But I think more importantly, what, what our draw is, is more about the coachability. So you can be a great player, but it's about getting a team dynamic to work together mm -hmm. and some of your I, I'm thankful for playing for Beth Anders. She's a tremendous, she was a tremendous player and a tremendous coach. Um, but I think also you have great coaches like your, your Phil Jackson, your Coach K, and it's not so much about what we've been doing in the past. It's about how we can get a group moving, uh, passionate, and then becoming leaders and really investing in a team style. And I think that's the biggest draw that we have here as a coaching staff. This weekend marks the end of the regular season for you guys, and it's no doubt a season that you'll remember for a very long time as your first, you know, as head coach here. Um, if you had to look back at the season, what's one, what was your favorite moment, whether it be a practice, a game, or an experience on a road trip where you kind of stepped back and smiled and said, I made the right choice, this is why I'm here? Okay, that's a tough question. Sure. Because I think as I've been going throughout the season, there's mm -hmm. been a lot of moments like that, uh, and I think What's great about this group that I'm working with now is they've come out from day one and they had a really big challenge and day one it was a fitness and they came out with great energy and they killed it and that was really inspiring and then more and more has happened since then from one of our field players stepping up to be a goaltender when we needed her, um, just raising her hand saying the team needs me, I'm going to do it mm -hmm. and that's really neat. And then on the field, off the field, uh, from the other day somebody was diving at a practice. That's exciting. We talk a lot about sharing energy. That makes you smile when you're heading up to the field and you hear uh, the girls starting their warm up and it's a beautiful day for hockey is a, a saying that we like to do. So there's a lot of little things. I don't know if there's one memory. Mm -hmm. I think it's just the overall collection of every day they're ready for something new and they've accepted so many challenges and they've grown so much. I think that's the best part of the year. 
over the years, we've come to know the field hockey team as one who enjoys the occasional sing-along on the team okay. bus. Uh, if you had to pick a member of your team to be a future karaoke all-star, or you know, so who, who is leading the team in the karaoke category every weekend? Okay, well, we do have a lot of talent. <laughs> we actually have Mia and Kristen are both in the St. Joe's City Bells okay. group, so they're probably top two. I think Jack, one of our freshmen, will be there soon. <laughs> but I will say the entire team has had quite the improvement. We sing the fight song after every game. So you, you're, you will hear, the, hear them chant that. Um, and it's, it's pretty funny. Um, and they enjoy it. So I think we could all be karaoke, karaoke superstars. <laughs> well, Coach, thank you for being here. Good luck this weekend. And we hope that you've enjoyed your first season on Hawk Hill as much as we have. Well, thank you. The Hawks will host LaSalle this Friday, October 31st, before Brown comes to Ellen Ryan Field on Sunday, November 2nd. So be sure to come out for Friday's rivalry game and Sunday's Senior Day ceremony and support your Hawks. We hope to see you there, and we hope to see you here next time on Take 5.